Go. Hi, Sarah back from Long Acres Alpaca Farm again, and today I'm going to show you how to insert a feeding tube into a Priya. This Priya um, is a preemie and uh, has not really been growing real well. Initially, he took the bottle, but then once he got under the dam, he no longer wants the bottle, and that happens an awful lot, far too often. So, um, our alternative is to put a feeding tube in. Uh, it's not the best situation because we know that the feeding tube puts the milk in C1 and we'd really rather they suckle so that we shoot the milk down into C2 or 3. Um, but it's the best we can do. We try not to overload them with too much uh, volume so that it doesn't just sit there in C1 and, and go bad. Um, but uh, at least until he can get going on his own a little bit better, we're going to put the so this guy's uh, seasoned. He's had a feeding tube quite a bit. And one nice thing is after a while, they actually start swallowing the feeding tube. So this is my feeding tube. I believe it's a 14 French feeding tube. And I put it in hot water. And that's to make it nice and soft and limp. Uh, one of the bigger risks is you can puncture the esophagus, um, especially with a harder tube. So it's in nice hot water. And that makes it nice and limp. I have my milk already mixed up, it's warmed up a little bit, and I just use a graduated syringe up on top, I'm just going to pour it in there, and what I'm going to do is I'm sitting over top of him, as you can see, I open up his mouth, and insert the tube, and hopefully he'll just swallow it, which is what he usually does, because again, he's very used to it, every once in a while, sometimes they'll cough. I have never, knock on wood, had one go down in the trachea, uh, but that doesn't mean it can happen. One other trick I do is I get down to about this far and I put my finger in so they can kind of suckle on my finger. It stabilizes it and then I just pour the milk in. And he's actually suckling right now. Very happy. I don't plunger it in ever. I just like gravity to take over and let it run in. Um, if you were to put this in and you got a lot of air back, you would know that you were actually in the lungs. So, although, like I said, it's if you go down the wrong place, like the trachea, they really will start coughing even before you put any liquid down. If you're unsure where you are, you could always put a little water down first water is not really going to get you into any trouble. But if you put milk down to the lungs, that can really cause a lot of problems. So, so now the milk is the whole way down. I'm going to pinch the tube off and pull it out quickly. And that's it. So there are several different ways that you can double check the position. As the tube's going down, you can actually feel along the left side, which is where the esophagus is, and you can actually feel the tube going down. That would be one way. Another way is to inject some air. Once it's in place, use your plunger and inject some air and listen back uh, in the stomach area and see if you hear it, uh, the air going in. That's a little tricky to do. If you were to stick, another way is once it's in place, if you were to stick this in in water and there would be bubbles coming up, that would mean it's in the lungs. Um, once in a great while, I've had an air bubble pop up, and actually it's been in the stomach. I think that's just a little bit of air that's in the stomach. So, But like I said, it's really a very easy procedure. You, do, you don't want to force it down. Uh, just wait until you'll swallow it. And um, your biggest risk is going to be that you can traumatize the esophagus, um, or they can aspirate your liquids. Um, and I am you know, very cautious about what kind of liquids I would put down. So, okay, that's feeding tube for our creas. Hope you enjoyed it.